Because of the way capacitive touchscreens work, it's more challenging to get good performance if you aren't holding the mobile device or tablet in your hand, or if they're not hooked up to a PC. This is especially true for small devices like cell phones. So if you want to use your phone's touchscreen without holding it in your hand, you may experience reduced performance. We call this a low ground mass situation. It's really important for a touchscreen sensor to have good low ground mass performance. If a phone has poor low ground mass performance, you might see a large finger being interpreted as two fingers, or it might not detect the finger touch at all. To test for low ground mass, you can use the touch test application. You'll need to place the phone or device on a non-conductive insulating surface, such as a plastic tabletop, rubber mat, or blotter pad. Contact with a metal surface or holding it in your hand will disturb the results. Next, place your thumb onto the screen, making a large area of contact between your skin and the screen. You can see that my device reported three fingers. Ideally, it should have reported only one. This device is having trouble detecting the touch accurately due to low ground mass. Now let's see what happens when you hold the device in your hand. Place your thumb on the screen just as you did in the previous test, and note the number of touch points. This time, my phone correctly reported a single touch point. It's performing accurately because it's got good ground mass due to me holding it in my hand. For precision testing, you can use a large 22 millimeter diameter slug. Place the slug onto the screen, then check your reported touch points. Again, one is ideal. If you get anything other than one, you have a problem with low ground mass. That's it. Now you have a simple test you can use to evaluate and compare handheld devices for ground mass performance.